Hello, today is Wednesday, October 13th. My name is Todd Graff, this is Damian White, and this is The Gold Spot. Okay, the big topic I keep hearing people talk about recently is, is supply chain. You know, I think everybody's seen the, the pictures of the, the cargo ships parked out uh, off of uh, California's coast. Um, and everybody's worried. You know, everybody keeps talking about supply chain issues. Um, Damien, can you expand on that and tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. And that's, that's exactly right. I mean, there is supply chain issues around the world. I think a lot of it is actually starting with semiconductor industry, which is set back after the pandemic shutdown. So that's causing a big bottleneck in just about everything. Today's day and age of technology has a lot of supply or uh, semiconductors in it. However, when you go to the port, so you're looking at Long Beach Port and, and the Port of Los Angeles prim primarily, there's a half a million containers. There's 500,000 containers off the shore ready to be unloaded. Um, and that's just to get to industrial manufacturers to start making finished goods. Um, if you expand on that, there's actually triple that number off the coast of um, China right now to unload of raw materials to start making finished goods. So they're actually worse than us. Um, just this morning, the, the uh, Port of Los Angeles came out and declared that they're going to do 24-7 unloading now. So they're basically doubling their capacity um, to kind of finish that up. So we're starting to see that um, these, these supply chain issues are reverberating around the world in just about every industry, on every port, and every facet of, of, of manufacturing. And that's, you know, that's, that's causing a problem, and it's reverberating down the whole chain to all the consumers in all the countries. Right, right. And that's, that's the biggest question I, I get a lot of times in regards to this is, how is this going to affect people in the real world? How, what sort of changes are we going to see Due to this, this well, issue. the big word. I mean, the, the one killer thing is going to be inflation. Um, so the cost of goods going up, and a lot of that is really, um, you know, the, the 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 amount of money that's chasing these goods and the length of time it's causing to produce them now is causing higher costs. Um, originally, the Federal Reserve, our government, the Biden administration came out and said this is transitory. It's going to go away as soon as these bottlenecks resolve themselves. However, um, this morning also, the Social Security Administration came out and did a 5.9% um, cost of living adjustment on retirees paid um, Social Security benefits. That's 70 million people. It's the largest increase, I think, ever, but definitely going back like 39, 40 years to the 80s. Um, so it's already happening. And when they do that adjustment, they're basically acknowledging that this is not transitory. That's a permanent increase. That means that they're saying that there is a lot of these costs that are going to be permanent. Inflation is rising and it's hitting everybody in the pocketbook. Right, right. And that's something that we noticed every day uh, in this industry. You know, physical gold and silver, that is part of the supply chain as well. You know, that we've been noticing shortages for certain products. Um, certain things are just taking longer to, to be moved around. Um, so I think if, if gold and silver is something you want to use to hedge against inflation, you, it's better to do it now than, than wait a few months. I think things are just going to get worse and worse. So thank you very much for watching The Gold Spot. We'll see you next week.